Hello and welcome. This is a video of me blocking a shawl. As you can see, it's already pretty open because I've blocked it once before. After I took it off the pins, you could there was still a couple spots that hadn't opened up, particularly on that right side, so I decided to block it again. This is the way I block things um, of any manner that need blocked. This is not necessarily the right way or the only way. Um, I use pins that are able to resist rusting, a towel, particularly an old one that I know won't bleed color when I spray whatever I'm blocking with water, and just a spray bottle that people use on their hair most of the time. Um, like I said, this is the way that I block. I know there are many other ways, including using foam mats. Some people may use steam iron. Those are good for man-made fibers like acrylic and polyester. Um, but this is the way I block my natural fibers. This shawl is made of 100% mulberry silk. So I'm trying to be as um, careful with it as I can. Um, as you can see, as I continue to pin, the design opens up again. Um, at this point in time, there's still a couple spots that didn't open up very well. And later in the video, I go back and readjust pins to make sure it opens up really well. I have found blocking to be a assess as you go situation. Sometimes you think you have it and then you don't. And you just have to readjust. I think that's how any fiber arts is. When something's not working, you can usually tell pretty quick. So I hope this video has helped anyone who is trying to figure out blocking. Um, it's not something I do very often myself. I have very few projects that I need to block or feel like I need to block. But if you wanted to, you could block just about anything. Have a wonderful time making. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you'd like to see a finished version of the shop, please check out my website.